Namaste and hello everybody. Here at Sri Jeevan, our motto and our intention is to bring out the best in every woman out there. And with just that goal in mind, here are some great ways how you can enhance your lifestyle and bring out the best in you. Today's topic of discussion is how to manage stress. Stress is a very natural phenomenon that we all humans undergo or we experience and there can be positive stress and there can be negative stress and how you're able to manage that and cope with it and adapt to it is what's very critical here. So stress can be because of physical influence, it can be mental, it can be emotional, it can be social, occupational or spiritual. As your health coach and registered dietitian, Lalita Ramamurthy from Michigan, USA, here are a few tips on how you can manage your daily stress in the different um, ways that you experience it. So for physical stress, keeping a fit body, exercising regularly, engaging in physical activities that you're passionate about, that you enjoy doing. It can be dancing, it can be biking, it can be a sport, it can be gardening. Whatever you enjoy doing can certainly help alleviate physical stress. And not to forget, eat a well-balanced diet that has got sufficient fruits and vegetables, more natural uh, foods that you can give your body will take care of that physical stress. How do you manage your emotional stress? We all go through emotions and we go through emotions in a roller coaster. Um, you know, so we go through the ups and downs with our emotions. Some days we feel great, we feel absolutely, um, you know, elated, and sometimes we don't feel so good. And that's but common. But how do you manage that emotional stress? Being more positive, reinforcing more positively being, um, you know, forgiving to yourself, uh, understanding your emotions and keep reinforcing on the positive thoughts. You will have negative thoughts, but how quickly you're able to get away from that and reinforce on the positive will, um, you know, alleviate that emotional stress for you. Now, mental stress. This is very uh, connected to the, uh, the next one, which is occupational stress. But mental stress predominantly happens when you have lack of con uh, you know, focus, um, you're forgetful, um, you, know, you sometimes um, are not able to uh, concentrate on activities that you do. And this generally happens when you're overworked up. And that's why I said it's connected to the occupational stress. So try and set reasonable goals for yourself, and this would be both for the occupational as far as for the mental. Um, give yourself some um, recreation time, you know, take breaks in between, so that way you do not overwork yourself, and especially women being multitaskers, they want to be best at everything, and they want to do their best at everything. Give yourself some reasonable goals. Set goals that are um, more priority-based, and work towards that. As far as social stress goes, it's very common in these days with all the social media available to get stressed very easily by, um, you know, the social gatherings that we have. Take what works for you and leave what doesn't work for you. There is some wonderful influence that you can get from social media. Take the positives from it and leave the negatives. Um, and it is very important to also engage with your friends Talk to your friends, especially women. They are um, good with communications where they actually speak out. And you may call this venting out to somebody. But yes, sort out to a good friend and talk to her if you need to. Or talk to him if you need to, to actually get rid of some of your uh, social stresses. Lastly, spiritual stress. This is something which people really don't generally talk about and sometimes don't even realize. This is a feeling of, um, you know, having no meaning in your life sometimes and people feel miserable sometimes and um, they're lost and they don't see the meaning for themselves. And when these things happen, it's probably a good time to engage in some solitude and some meditation. Believe me, when you are able to give yourself that quiet time and self-reflect 
on some of the things that you're doing and be more grateful and be uh, feel more blessed for some of these wonderful things that you have a family um, you know security and everything else that you have you're definitely going to balance that spiritual stress too I hope this was a use useful session for all of you looking forward to many more such sessions with um, Three Jeevan, and this is your health coach and registered dietitian Lalita Ramamurthy from Michigan, USA. Stay tuned for much more and be your best.